Hello? Larry! Oh, hey, hi. Oh, hi, hi. Honey, if you couldn't call... At a worse time, I got, I got the, the TiVo guy here. Oh, my God! I'm leaving, Larry. I can't do this anymore. You can't do this? What? What are you... Is that, is that really surprise you? What do you mean you're leaving? What are you what? doing? I just called you from an airplane telling you I was about to crash. The, the TiVo guy was here. I could barely hear what you were saying. He was, he was about to leave. I, I, I couldn't even get the guy to come to the house. You know, it's very hard to get those people here. It was oh, broken. Really? I got it fixed for well... you. I saved all your shows. Barefoot Contessa, Top Chef, Project Runway. I won't let them. I saved those shows for you. We've got these shows right here. It's not just about the TiVo. What, what else is it about? I had a call, Primos, to cancel our reservation. Yeah. And the hostess, uh, asked me why I was canceling. And I told her it was because you left me. Mm -hmm. But I don't think she believed me. So what I'd like you to do is to call the restaurant and just sort of, you know, confirm my story. Cheryl, don't, don't go. Come on, come on, just, just say, don't, don't. I need to go, Larry. Will you call the restaurant? Oh, sorry about that. Rings tight? No, I have a bad habit yeah. of just putting my drink down on the bad table. Bad habit? Put your drink down on the wood? Look, look at that stain you made. Well, I'll just sand it off or something. Oh, my God. You had a cup like that at Julia's party. You left the ring stain on Julia's table. She blamed me the whole time, but it was you. Well, it's no big deal. You're right. It is no big deal. Having said that, I would love for you to call Julia and tell her that you left the ring stain. I'm not calling Julia. Yeah, just tell her that, that you were the one who left the stain on the antique table. Hold it one second. I'm not going to do that. Yeah, come on. I'm not doing no, that. No, I want you to talk to her. Hold I don't want to talk what? to Julia. Just... Larry. Hold, Cheryl, oh, hold, hold on one second. Oh, my God. Yeah. I am not talking to Julia. Hey, I'm Jules. not doing this. Uh, no, what was I thinking? show, I don't show know is why. fantastic. Why would I come here? This is right. I'm not talking to Wait. Julia. Huh? I said no, and you don't listen to me. Oh, well, hold, 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 hold on, okay? Cheryl, wait one second. No, no, I, th I think she left the ring stand. Hold on. Wait, what the hell are you doing? I'm leaving, Larry. Huh? Why? Why? Yeah. God. Cheryl. Cheryl. So I'm really happy with my, my new sneakers, you know, because they're gray. And when you think about it, it's a good color, because white is really too bright, and black is almost like a pair of shoes. And gray is kind of right in the middle. They look good. Maybe we should get back to Cheryl. You know, we just don't do enough things together. She plays tennis. She won't play golf. I can't play tennis because of my neck. What else does Cheryl like to do? She just likes, she, does the, she likes the outdoors. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't really like the outdoors, you know. It's not a good place for bald people out what there. What about uh, the beach? I don't like the beach in particular. The beach is lovely this time of year. I go up to Santa Barbara, you know, you go to the beach. Really? It's really nice, not yeah. crowded. Well, I mean, if I went to the beach with her, she would be... She, uh, she, she, uh, she wouldn't know what to think, yeah. She'd be happy. She, yeah, she'd be very happy. Go to the beach with her. Hate it. All those disgusting bodies walking around. It's, I have to look at them. Well, our time is up. 
Maybe I'll take her to the beach. Maybe I will. Good idea. So I think that's a Santa Barbara thing. I think that's a pretty good idea. I think I'm going to do it. You know, I'll go to Santa Barbara one day. I think I just saw my therapist. See you guy in a striped bathing suit? Skippy, Skippy suit, <laughs> see that? I see him. Yeah, that's my therapist. Why don't you guys say hi? I can't, I can't talk to him in that bathing suit. It is pretty small. I keep walking around in a bathing suit like that. You know, I just wanted to tell you, you know, I'm, so I'm leaving. You know what, this is so unfair of you. You know, I turn you on to this guy, he's a brilliant doctor, but you, I, I would have never told you. You should okay. be thanking me, saving you from, from, from this hedonist, giving you advice. <laughs> I love the new Larry. Really? Yeah. You know what I want to do? Mm -hmm. I want to travel with you. No traveling in Europe, maybe, you know, bicycles and the, all that stuff you wanted to do yeah. that you used to ask me about. And No, no, I don't want to do that. There's no golf courses nearby. It seems like you've done a lot of reflecting and... <sighs> I'm a completely changed man. The only vestige of my old self mm -hmm. is that I still got the good breath, you know. That's the thing the new you're Larry, keeping? The new Larry's keeping the minty, the minty breath. Yes. Yeah. The old Larry, you're, you're getting rid of. He's over. He's over. You know, when he, he hated your sister. He did? You know what? Forget that, Larry. He's dead. He's dead. He's completely dead. She noticed the tucked in, and she was very impressed with that, and I looked like a man, you know? This is great, great stuff. It's great progress. Yeah. Um, I have to say it's not surprising, um, because uh, I like to think I know what I'm doing. And I, oh, I said, and I was talking about the future. If we get back together, what I want to do, I want to travel with her, you know, on, on bicycles, <laughs> traveling on bi scuba diving in a zillion years. When I go. But I, I, you know what? I would do it with her. I really would. At dinner, that's when you have to up the stakes. That's where you have to tell her. You want her to move back in with you, and she has until Monday to decide, or that's it. It works. That's all I can say. <laughs> wow. Wow. I want you to move back in with me. You have till Monday to decide. Monday? Yeah, Monday. Then the offer's off the table. You're giving me an ultimatum? What? No. Oh, my God. Oh, OK. You know what? You don't have to wait till Monday. Well, OK, so if we don't. what? The answer is no. OK, I do, do, there's no You're ultimatum. Change, you can take, 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 you don't know. take, take your time. Well, obviously. Take, take, no, take a don't. month. I don't care. Don't call me, what? please, ever. You ruined my life, OK? OK. Give her an ultimatum? All of a sudden, I heard this softy music, the Mr. Softy truck. The music from the Mr. Softy truck. Yes. When I was a kid, I had a uh, traumatic incident in involving Mr. Softy. Let's do another hand. Okay. What the hell are you doing with my daughter? Come here. Come here. Now you be quiet. You be quiet and you listen to me. You get over to the What the? What the? Kid. What the f are you doing, kid? Oh, <laughs> this was a girl that you knew from the neighborhood, I yes. presume? Yes. Uh, you were playing strip poker with her. And of course, I lost almost every hand. She took off her socks and shoes. I feel like if she had taken the top off, my whole life would have been different.
All right, come on, Yari. Yes, you got it, Larry. Here it comes. Oh, you got it, you got it. You bucklered me. I'm sorry. You bucklered it. Why is Buckler on my team? Sorry. Little roller up along first, behind the back, it gets through Buckner. Wow. Bill Buckner. Yeah. Oh How are you God. doing? Nice to meet you. This is amazing that you're here. I can't believe it. I had an incident at a softball game that was very similar to what you went through. Of course, you, yours happened in the World Series in front of millions of people, but nevertheless, the ball went through my legs and cost us the game. It was humiliating, and people were insulting me. And, and I'm sorry to hear that. I can't believe I'm seeing you here. How did you deal with all that stuff? You know, were you giving it your best effort? You know, it's a team game. Those things happen. You just got to forget about it. Jeez, you, you have a really good attitude. I'd love to talk to you about this. Do, do, do you got a minute? Are either of you gentlemen Jewish? Not me. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm... Well, listen, I have a problem upstairs. We're doing a Kaddish, and we need one more guy for... Fill out the minion. I'm terribly sorry. Uh, are you Bill Buckner? Yeah. Herman here is from Boston. He's a big Red Sox fan. He can't be in the same room with Bill Buckner. I'll have to ask you to please leave. I'm terribly sorry. Are you sorry. serious? No, I'm really... Are you for real? October 1986. Jesus Christ, two out. Larry, yeah. don't worry about Please. it. Hey. Hey, they can't help themselves. Yeah, Don't you're worry. damn right. Yeah, they we can't help ourselves. Don't yeah. let the door go through your legs on the way out, Buckner. A jerk. I only regret I can't ruin your yeah. life before you leave. Excuse me. Are you happy with that, Park? Yeah, what's wrong with that? You're way outside the line. You're taking up two spaces. I'm like uh, an inch over the line. No, you're a foot over the line. You're taking up two spaces. And the next car is also going to be taking up two spaces. Then you're going to leave. And then that car is going to get blamed. This is chaos. Society can't function like this. What? You have to be in the lines the way it's hey, supposed to be. Here's an idea. Why don't you mind your own business? Well, I suppose that's an idea. Not yeah. a very good one, though. Oh, no? Just say, you know what? I'll do better next time.